Triangles, triangles, triangles. Let's create some in Illustrator. I'm gonna show you how to create an equilateral triangle as well as a right triangle and why pretty much every other tutorial that shows you how to do this is something I would ignore. I'll show you the best way to create a triangle. All right, guys. So first off, let's make a right triangle. I'm gonna create a square with the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is M. Create a square, not a rectangle. See, that's too skinny. I'm gonna hold shift and make it a square. So it's a perfect square when you hold shift. Let go and we have our square. Now I'm gonna to switch to the pen tool. The shortcut key for that is P and just remove an anchor point. So look for the minus, click, and you're gonna remove the anchor point and now you have a right triangle. How about an equilateral triangle? Well, the quickest way to do that is to go to the polygon tool simply click on your canvas or your artboard and then you can select the number of sides for that polygon three sides that's a triangle so hit okay and boom we've got our equilateral triangle now back to the selection tool the shortcut key for that is v and i can scale this up if i hold shift it'll stay in proportion with itself if i don't hold shift it's gonna make it a little bit skinnier, right? So if we want that to be a perfect triangle, make sure we hold shift. Now, a lot of other tutorials don't show you to use the polygon tool. They show you to use this star tool because if we click on our shapes and hold and go to the star tool, we can create a star. And as we create that star, we can press the up and down arrow key and we can change the number of points on that star. And notice how we can make it three points. So we can make like a little triangle. But look at the difference here. The difference between this shape and this shape. Notice these extra anchor points. You see those? That's because it's the, I don't know, we'll call it the armpits of the star, you know, where the, where the convex or whatever goes in. It still has that in the triangle shape even though it's only three sides and so it creates those anchor points and that's going to throw you off you don't want to have too many anchor points in your shapes you want to have the most simplified amount of anchor points as possible because as you get working it's going to be more and more difficult to deal with that and let me show you how or why or what i mean so i've got the direct selection tool selected here which means i can just click and drag and grab these points if i want to make this taller i'm just going to bring this point up now i have a taller triangle Okay, let's do the same thing to the one we made with the star tool. Grab that point, drag it up, or maybe I'll just grab that and then click and then hold shift to drag it up. I'm dragging it up, but look, it's gonna have those other anchor points. That's what's gonna throw you off as you're working with your shapes. So if you're here, I know you're new to Illustrator because triangles are just simple shapes and I know that's a pretty basic concept, but that's something I want you to know, and I've seen that in a lot of other tutorials. They use the star tool. Don't use the star tool. Use the polygon tool and just make it three sides. Plus, it's super quick and easy. Click three sides. You can even select the size. We just did 50 pixels, and we scaled it up. Pretty easy, but that's pretty much it for this one, guys. That's how to make a triangle. There are all different sorts of triangles in Illustrator if you need a right triangle or an equilateral triangle, and then from there, you can create whatever you want. Subscribe to this channel for more Illustrator tutorials. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time.